Good morning, guys, people of YouTube. I am getting ready to stuff this stuff in my drawer first. <laughs> I need to organize my drawers. Um, I'm getting ready to clean the guest room, the guest bathroom, and any amenity related to guestness in my house because I have two guests coming this weekend. It is my youngest brother, Ryan, and Nora's godfather, a.k.a. Jacob's best friend of all time from college, Dylan. And um, so Dylan's flying in from Tennessee. Dylan doesn't live near us. So when they get together, they live it up. And let me just paint you a picture of what living it up for Dylan and Jacob and including my brother Ryan looks like. As soon as they get here, all of the blinds in my living room and everywhere are going to close. Then they're gonna set up their TVs and their Xboxes. They're gonna get a huge pile high of snacks and nice tall, large, cold drinks. They're gonna strip down to their underwear, put their little headset on with their mic, and they're gonna sit down and they're gonna play their video game for hours and hours on end. That is them living it up. They all have some time off of work next coming, like the following week coming up, including this coming weekend. So there's like dust floating around my nose. Anyway, they all have some time off of work this coming weekend, leading in a little bit to next week. So this is like their bro time. They're like guy summer vacation. And I'm going to help them um, have a good time by doing some cooking beforehand. The chicken casserole, the chicken jalapeno casserole that I made for Ashley is actually one of Dylan's favorite recipes that I make. So I'm going to make that for him and just make sure they have everything they need for this weekend while they super bro out together and or nerd out with their video games. And Nora and I will just kind of like do our own thing um, and get out of the house probably and explore or whatever. So let me show you the guest room. I have to be kind of quiet in there because Nora's sleeping and one of the walls connecting to my guest room is Nora's room. Her sleep's number one. All of the boys when they're here are gonna be whisper screaming and yelling at their games because they know better than to wake a sleeping baby. Okay, here's the guest room. When you walk in, there's an office chair that shouldn't be here. The dresser is, has lots of clutter on top of it. The bed with all of our traveling bags. And there's two comforters because Max, this is where he sleeps, this is where Max sleeps. And even though I put this cover on top to keep the bottom sheets clean, that little devil dog got underneath here and now has got his little black furs. I don't know if you can see. Oh yeah, there's a nice thick layer of Max's fur all over these blankets. So I'm gonna have to wash all of these sheets. Great. <laughs> then there's my computer desk that has more clutter on it and stuff from Nora's birthday, a fan, and a nightstand, which is actually nice. <laughs> it's not dirty. And then over here, the closet is stuffed with like summer bags and Nora's old tub. All the pillows that go on the bed are clean. I just threw him in here because I know Max would have got all of his hair on him. So I just need to take everything out of here because there's actually a little stand right here for luggage. And then I usually have hangers up here. So whenever I have a guest stain, they can hang up their clothes if they want. So I'm going to get to work and start putting the sheets into the wash so they can get going now. And then I can throw them back on here afterwards. And I'm just going to set up the camera so you guys can see how I put everything. One of my neighbors thought it'd be a good idea to roll up to their house and honk like six times. So now Nora's awake from her nap early and she's cranky. That's just what I wanted today. Thanks, neighbor. You can help mommy clean the guest room. Say yes. Yes.
also we had to take a break just now because Nora got hungry and I just handed her her little snack cup with Cheerios and Goldfish in it while I go ahead and make her some mac and cheese, the Annie's mac and cheese shells and white cheddar. One thing that I've learned about becoming a mom is that normal tasks will take twice if not three times as long for everything. <laughs> it's okay though because I love her and she's cute. Yummy! Do you want me to get you a little fork? Okay, get you a little fork. but I wanted to show you guys before I do um, a little hack that I do to get dog or animal hair off of things because Max has little black hairs and they find their way to every little piece of light fabric that I own so this is the before technically this is one of the two decorative pillows I put on the guest bed and I don't know if you can see really well because my camera doesn't like to focus a lot there are a million little black hairs on that pillow, but I've already started on the other one. Of course, there's like some already found their way back. Um, what I've done is I've lint rolled all over the pillow with my lint roller. This is like one of my favorite hacks. I would use a piece of tape and like, like duct tape and get like, you know, the size of my hand and just, but I don't have any duct tape. I did have this lint roller though, so I've been rolling and rolling and rolling to get the hairs off. Then once I'm done with both pillows, I'm going to toss them on the bed and finish up the bed. And you see the desk and my little wall piece up here but I'll go over this part first please excuse Nora if you're here in the background Jacob is giving her a bath but this tray is from Target it was in my guest room closet and I just decided to whip it out and put two mugs on it with some tea packets laid out and then my your hair tell wrap from my FabFitFun box and then I have a sparkling flavored water right here and then in the corner I just have a little lamp. I want to keep it pretty open that way my guests can use the desk for whatever they want to use it for. Probably a TV because I know they're going to be gaming. And then up here I have this rose gold wall piece. It's actually a mirror but it says stay a while and I wish I would have got it in gold because the accents in this room are gold like over here. So I have this J that's gold for our last name and then over here this gold frame 
was a wedding gift. And then on the frame, I just have some important information for guests, like the Wi-Fi password, extra towels, like where to find them, where to find extra blankets, where to find spare toiletries, coffee, and snacks, because those are the necessities, am I right? And then I put a candle right here because, cute. <laughs> On the little shelf right here, I have this little speaker they can connect their phone to if they feel like it. And then this is a fan remote. I'll show you guys the wind tunnel fan that this goes to, but it's the coolest thing ever. Like you can hook up the wind tunnel fan and then have it on a timer or have it on three different speeds or you can just turn it off with the power button. It's genius. There's nothing down there, so my guests can put whatever they want in that shelf. And then in this bottom drawer right here is just a baggie of different phone chargers because we have a plethora of phone chargers to fit like anyone's phone. Okay, and then I made the bed after washing the sheets this morning and I set out a towel. I need to set out another towel because it's gonna be Ryan and Dylan coming this weekend. And then over here on the dresser side, I have this little, I don't know what you would call it, this piece. It says the most important things in life aren't things with a little seashell and I think it was just perfect for this room because I want it to be kind of light and airy and beach themed a little bit. <laughs> and then to continue the beach theme, I have this little jar down here with seashells in it and a little night light, the firefly light. So it's just a decorative piece. And then when I was completing my guest room, like setting it up last year, I found on Pinterest some super genius ideas. I'll go over this one first because I think it's brilliant. But I just set up this jar full of random snacks specifically for my guests in case they get hungry in the middle of the night or they just want something to snack on while they're hanging out in here. They don't have to leave and go grab a snack and they just have a little bit of an option here. Well, they'll have to leave if they want to make popcorn, but you know what I mean. <laughs> and then on this side, I found on Pinterest too, the same idea was to buy a whole bunch of travel size toiletries and put them in a basket or something for your guests when they visit in case they forget something of their own. Like last time Dylan came to visit, he forgot a toothbrush. So I got two toothbrushes in here, some razors, uh, shampoo, conditioner, lotion, Motrin, makeup removing wipes. Um, what is this? Mouthwash, a tooth, or sorry, toothpaste, and then face wash. And then these are little moisturizing lotion packets. They're individual. So it's just really cute. I love it. Love, love, love. Okay. And then in the closet, I cleaned out the closet. So now there's a space right here on top. This is a space in case my guest needs somewhere to put their suitcase or duffel bag, wherever bags they're traveling with. Under there is just our travel bag stuffed under for storage. But on the side right here is a whole bunch of blankets in case they get too cold. And then I put some hangers in here in case they need to hang up any clothes. And then on the other side, most of this other side is jackets because Jacob and I used to live somewhere where it snowed. We got all four, all four seasons. Um, but down here is the fan I was talking about. It's a wind tunnel fan and it has the remote with it. Like I said, it's the best fan. I love this fan. And then behind there, you can't really see, but there's a small TV, which I'm sure the boys are gonna pull out for their gameplay or something. So that is what's in here. So that is everything in my guest room. I try to keep it pretty light and airy and minimalized for the most part. I like to emphasize on amenities and minimalize the space, if that makes sense. Eventually we'll get a headboard for the bed. Right now it's just the box spring and the mattress. And then later on we'll also get a TV to hang up on this wall that has a remote connected to it. So it'll be all decked out, you know what I'm saying? So I won't be letting Max sleep in here for the next few days just so it stays nice. And I also won't let Nora come in here because it's not baby proofed like at all. Like the wire for the lamp is hanging down and then those things in the nightstand, she's just like, my mom. She did that today while I was cleaning. If you guys enjoyed this clean up guest room tour, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.